Good morning all. Yes, it's me, Charles Francis from Ground Level Coaching. And I'm excited and back to be with you guys and spend some time with you to come back with my Simple Monday Reflections. It's been a while. <laughs> so anyway, today I want to talk about the eyes and uh, how we can use the eyes to connect with ourselves and others and reconnect with ourselves and others. And quite a few things prompted up today's uh, discussion for me. And um, firstly, it was um, when my sister came around and we were just debating and talking about how um, we use the eyes to connect with people, of our loved ones and, uh, and um, with our friends and so forth. And uh, she was saying that uh, technique she does to reconnect with her partner is that they spend time looking at each other in their eyes. And then we was going on talking about how uncomfortable it is and the benefits of looking at people through his eyes. So I'm going to touch a little bit about that. But also what prompted me with this is that uh, I was with my wife and we was listening to uh, my brother. He does a live podcast on Instagram. If you don't know, check it out. Um, I'll put the link somewhere along my uh, Facebook group so uh, um, you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, he does a live um, Instagram about people suffering from mental health and mental illness. And what struck me and my wife is when we was watching and listening to uh, the guests and the speakers on his show, I was looking into their eyes and, you know, it's true what they say about the eyes never lie. The eyes always tell the truth. And I, I, I like to think the eyes as the gateway to the soul, you know, and also not only is it the gateway to the soul, but it's, it's the way, it's the most best way to keep yourself present in the here and the now is through the eyes. So let's talk a little bit about this. Now, when they say that the eyes never lie, you know, even when you go to the doctors and you're suffering from some form of illness, do you remember when the doctor, you always go, open your eyes and look in your eyes. Why is he looking in your eyes and you're ill? It's because sometimes when you see, when someone's not well or something, you know, it comes through, through their eyes, through their, you know, their eyes look dreary or their eyes are not alive. And when your eyes are not alive, that means your soul isn't alive. It's the gateway to your soul, your eyes. And one of the best ways to reconnect with yourself and others is through the eyes. And what do I mean by this? Well, a lot of times when you're talking to someone, um, you're not really looking into their eyes. You know, it's, there's, an, there's an uncomfortable element of when people look into your eyes. And when you look into other people's eyes, you tend to make them feel uncomfortable. And people make you feel uncomfortable when, you're, when they're looking into your eyes. But that says a lot. That says a lot because it means that there's a there's a there's a higher level, there's a deeper level when you look into someone's eyes when you're communicating with them. It's like you're touching them in at a place where they don't feel comfortable. They feel a little bit vulnerable. And that's gotta be at the soul, at the heart. Because when it comes to the heart, we feel we tend to feel a little bit vulnerable when we're revealing our true inner self, when we're revealing what's going on. Very often people have disagreements with family members or friends and it's because they assume that person's intention that they therefore then take on there's a whole story that may not necessarily be true. And one of the ways to write to reconnect with that truth, that element and see whether you got it right is to look through the eyes. Look through their eyes and your eyes as well. So if you get the opportunity to see them in person, if you're disagreeing with someone, you get the opportunity to see them in person, look in their eyes, look in their eyes, let them reconnect, speak to them through your eyes and look into their eyes so you can really see what's going on. And when you're looking at someone's eyes, ask yourself, do I 100% know their intention? Do I absolutely 100% know their intention? Because when you realize you don't 100% know their intention, that's when it's going to hit you and realize that, you know, maybe I didn't get it right. Maybe I am assuming. Maybe I am judging. And therefore, it helps you to let go of all of these assumptions, past and future assumptions, and just be with the here and now. Your eyes help you to connect with the here and now. Your eyes can't see what's happened before and your eyes can't see what is going to happen in the future your eyes can only see what is present what's put before them right now even when we tell you to reflect on a past experience and you really want to get emotionally connected what do you do you close your eyes you close your eyes and you think of that time and you reconnect with that time the minute you open your eyes your eyes will just focus on what's there right in front of you and then it takes you away from the past and the future it brings you to the here and now so a great way to stay present and reconnect with people is look at their eyes. Look in their, in their eyes when you're talking to them. And I know it can be uncomfortable sometimes when someone's looking at you in your eyes. But when you speak through your eyes, when you speak through your eyes, it has a different, it has a different element to it. Sometimes when you're looking at someone's eyes and they can feel uncomfortable, they look around. But when you speak through your eyes, 
into their eyes and you're, you're not speaking out loud but you're speaking in your mind's eye you're speaking and you're saying to yourself you're saying things like you know i just really want to connect with you i'm not meaning to make you feel uncomfortable i want you to realize that i am listening i want you to realize that i am present when you speak through your eyes it gently softly reconnects with their eyes and then they start to feel a little bit comfortable a bit more reassured that you they tr they trust you and then the real truth comes out comes from them and it also comes from you and that's why i say through the eyes we can reconnect with others but we can also reconnect with ourselves like in the morning for example i went for a run this morning and what do i do before i come when i came back from this run I always brush my teeth before I run anyway, but when I came back and I had my shower and I brushed my teeth again, I looked in the mirror and I looked in my eyes. And I just stayed uncomfortably looking in my eyes. Not asking questions, but just seeing, just listening and hearing what's coming back to me, what is being fed back to me through my eyes, just through the observation of my eyes. Because what you'll s discover is it will tell you whether you're comfortable or not comfortable. It will tell you whether you're living your truth or you're not living your truth. And don't be afraid to listen. Don't fight it. Don't try to prejudge it. Just, just, just be aware. Just notice what you notice about yourself when you look in your eyes. Because there's a lesson there for you. There's a learning for you to take, for you to grow from, for you to expand from, for you to, to, to move on to the next level of your life when you start to reconnect with yourself on a deeper level. You know, like my brother said in his, in his live feed, he said a lot of people, when they talk, they're not really listening. You know, they're just waiting to respond. They're waiting. They've already got in their mind what they want to say after that person has spoken. And a lot of that is because they're not present in the here and now. And one way to be present is to look in their eyes. I want to give you a little tip that you're, you all will actually can connect with and understand. Don't we all, when we're going through something very emotionally uh, 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 pressing on us, emotionally, for example, maybe we've lost a loved one. For my case, it was my mother. Or even when you was in school, do you remember when you was told off about something and you knew, you know, you was all like really anxious and like really mm -hmm, anything someone said would really want to make you cry, you know? And isn't it interesting how you could hold it together when they weren't looking in your eyes? You could hold it together, you know, even though it was really hitting you emotionally, but you could hold it together. The minute they look into your eyes and then they ask you, all right. And as soon as they connect with that, your eyes, they connect with your eyes. For some reason, something would just go, boom, and the tears would start to flow. doesn't matter if you're a big man or a big woman. They look in your eyes, it's like that broke down that barrier. And, there's, you know, that's so significant because it shows you the power of that channel, that eyes relate to your soul. They relate, they're the gateways to your soul. And we can't be afraid to connect with our true self and other people's true selves as well. We've got to start to embrace that. If we want to live in our true essence, we've got to embrace this vulnerability about ourselves. You know, we have to become this person that we want to be in future. So it's not just about other people looking in your eyes. It's also you becoming comfortable with looking at people in their eyes. Be comfortable with, shed, with, with talking through your eyes silently, just talking in your mind and, you know, looking at that person in their eyes, really appreciating that person for who they are, appreciating that moment, the moment for what that moment is. It doesn't have to be tragic. It can be beautiful moments as well. It doesn't matter wherever you are. Just appreciate that moment through your eye, through your eyes, you know, listen and speak through your eyes, connect with people through your eyes, reconnect with yourself and your true higher being through your eyes. You know, spend that little time of that uncomfortable time, just looking in your eyes and saying, listen, say nothing. Just looking in your eyes and just noticing what you notice about yourself. Because afterwards, you're gonna go back and think to yourself, well, you know what? Hmm, well, that was interesting. And it was interesting because you just entered another level about yourself and learned nothing, something more about yourself. So guys, this is today's note really. It's just about the, 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 the magnificent magnitude of how we use our eyes and connecting with our deeper self. And we're gonna use this guys, as we press on through the day, use this to connect with other people, to let other people know you're present when you're talking to them, that you care, you're interested. You're interested about other people when you're talking with them. It doesn't even matter who they are. You might not ever see them again. You might just see them once, but it doesn't matter. Just that for that one occasion, you appreciate that interaction you're present when you're interacting with that person so guys 
I love you all. Guys, stay blessed, stay beautiful. This life is amazing. You all are amazing. Stay blessed. I'm out. I'll see you next week.